Montrostelli, the editor of TappingQ&A.com, and welcome to another instructional video. Today what I want to do is I want to talk to you a little bit about being open to change and transformation. I think one of the misconceptions we have, or one of the reasons why we don't sit down to tap, is because we believe we need to knock out the entire issue when we sit down. And that's going to create some resistance because I might not feel that I have enough time to clear out the issue today, or it might feel like the issue is so big that there's no possible way I'm going to get through it all in one sitting, therefore I'm just not going to do it because it's not going to feel like it's successful. But that's not true. Any progress we make with tapping is important because it's going to move us forward and it's going to make it easier for us in the future so as we go forward there's going to be less of it impacting us every single day and it's going to make it easier the next time we sit down to tap for it. The other thing that's important to consider is the fact that we don't need to open ourselves to change forever. By simply opening ourselves to change for a small amount of time, it can move us forward in really profound ways. I don't need to be fearless forever. I just need to be fearless long enough to make that one phone call I need to make in order to move my business forward. I need to be fearless enough to confront the person at work who's been giving me a really hard time. I need to be fearless enough to make one simple small action that will create a cascade of effects that we move forward. And so when we recognize this, what it enables us to do is it enables us to sit down and spend a small amount of time tapping, knowing that if we clear a little bit, it's good. And if we just open the door a little bit, it's going to make it so we have space to make a new choice. So to begin a tapping round like that, and you can tap with me, it's as simple as this. I give myself permission to know that as I tap today, I'm not going to knock out the entire issue. I give myself permission to know that as I tap today, everything might not be cleared up, and that's okay. I give myself permission as I tap today to know that I'm simply trying to clear enough resistance and enough fear to make one small step to move me closer to my goal, to the outcome I want. And if I do this, I know that I'm going to be closer to my goal when I started, and it's going to create a cascade and a domino effect of actions that are going to lead me quickly to where I want to be. I don't need to do it all at once. I don't need to do it all right now. I don't have to do it in a profound way. I simply have to be open to allow a small amount of healing right now, which is going to compound itself through my day and every single time in the future when I sit down to tap. And it's really that simple. If you open yourself up to the fact that a little transformation is enough to make big things happen, and enough tapping right now is better than no tapping right now, then it's going to make a huge difference in the way you move forward. For Tapping Q&A, this is Gene Montrostelli. I want to encourage you to check out all our free instructional videos at tappingqna.com video, and also check out the hundreds of other free resources we have. Have a great day.